So lockdown has been lifted. And the UK, for the most part, has gone back to normal. Apart from the children not returning to school. Though. At the same time, what's the point really? They lifted lockdown in July. The kids would have been breaking up mid to end July anyway. To then go on a six weeks holiday to return in September. So you might as well just let them off. Now if it was up to me, if I was running the country, I would have still sent them rascals to school. Well, at least if I was going to lift lockdown at the beginning of July, I would have just made them go back to school and start their year again. Remember I made a video and I was talking, you know, nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. Now it depends on the situation, how that statement will be perceived. Now, if someone's living the high life, they won the lottery or they got lots of money from their job that they're working, they earn a lot of money at work. They have everything they want in life. Nice house, nice car, they're content, they're happy. If some idiot comes along and says, nothing lasts forever, you're gonna think, what the fuck's this person's problem? Why are you telling me that my great lifestyle that I'm living is gonna to come to an end? That's in that situation. But if someone's going through a rough patch, their life's in turmoil. Yeah? Things aren't going well for them. If someone comes along and says, nothing lasts forever, that could give someone some kind of hope. Right? That can maybe uplift someone because you're basically telling them that one day you won't be in this situation and things can get better. In that video, I was talking about a girl in America. She was nice and bubbly, you know, friendly person, outgoing person. And then as soon as lockdown came, she changed. Her whole aura, demeanor changed. And at the end of it, she took her life. Now, obviously, <laughs> you know the country or you know the world wouldn't be under lockdown forever. Yeah. We knew that lockdown would end one day, right? What a waste of life. Also in that video, I was talking about whatever you're going through now, it will subside. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're going through now, whatever problems you're having now, one day you won't feel the same way about these problems. That don't mean they're not there. I'm just saying, one day you won't feel the same about these problems. Over the last couple of nights, I've been watching one of my videos and for some reason about this video I just love the video it's short simple and sweet it's not like one of them long vlogs where I'm moving around the house and doing all this crazy stuff no just a simple video and that one is the one where I'm talking about celebrities committing suicide celebrities who commit suicide. Either be thick-skinned or be ordinary. So we've all heard about this person on TV who's committed suicide recently. Yeah? And yeah, it is sad. Yeah, it's sad that someone's taken their life. Yeah. But if you're not thick-skinned, yo, jump off this thing right now. Yeah, if you're not thick-skinned, get off TV, get off social media. And be an ordinary person. And I got to thinking. That lady that commits suicide, the one that was hosting the program. I ain't gonna say her name or the program, but you know the one I'm talking about. She took her life. And, you know, she thought her life was in turmoil and people were looking down on her and stuff like that. 
Obviously, we live in the moment, I get it. But if she had just waited a few weeks, if she had just waited a few weeks and thought to herself, you know what? Let me think about what I'm going to do. <laughs> Let me, you know, just hold that thought about taking my life yeah, for a few weeks. If you're watching this right now and you ever think about taking your life, yeah, your feelings might change, you know. If you feel like your life is in turmoil, you're like, oh, I'm just going to jack it. Don't. Don't do it right now. Don't do it at all. Wait. As I said, how you feel now is not going to be the same as how you're going to feel in the future. You know that lady that took her life? If she had just waited three, four, five, six weeks, you know, I could guarantee you she wouldn't have taken her life. I'll put strong money on it. Do you know why? Because Three, four, five, six weeks afterwards, the whole world went into complete fucking turmoil with this COVID-19 pandemic. During the COVID-19 pandemic, no one was talking about no celebrities, you know. Nobody gave a fuck. All people cared about was buying their toilet roll, their pasta and their rascal antibacterial hand gel. No one cared about any fucking celebrities. No one was talking about Drake. No one was talking about no. All right, some celebrities people was talking about obviously you know the youth with the multicolored hair. You know he might get released early and all that. But other than that, no one was talking about any celebrities. No one gave a fuck because everyone had their own things that they needed to sort out. You know what that girl should have done? She should have wrote a fucking book. Man, if I was ever in that position, fucking hell. If I was, you know, in the limelight or whatever, and I got nicked and whatever, and then, you know, I got fired from my workplace or whatever, boom. I have a name. I've slightly, you know, up my profile, I've become a bit more high profile now because I got nicked for this. Oh, they wrote a book or two. Probably wrote all oh, biography and then wrote a book about, you know, the incident that led me to get fired. Then bam, I would have started a YouTube channel. If I was, obviously, if I was her. You know how much money this girl could be making? She, could, she would have been like, fuck that program. She could have made multiple YouTube channels. She could have made YouTube channels about just talking about everyday stuff. YouTube channels about fucking cooking or anything. Whatever, you know, she might have some hobby or activity she likes to do. She might like to go fucking mountain bike riding or I don't know. Fucking do ballet, make a YouTube channel about that. But she had a small mind. She thought short term. And thus she took her life. Anyway, I'll leave links in the description box below for the two videos I just mentioned. The one I was talking about, you know, nothing lasts forever. If your life is in turmoil, or whatever, don't take your life. Wait and see how you feel after a couple of months. And then I'll leave a link in the, in the description box below about regarding the video talking about the celebrities that commit suicide. You see what I mean? If that lady there had waited three, four, five, six weeks and thought about her decision to take her life, her opinion and her, it would have changed. 
The only reason why she wanted to take her life is because of how the media viewed her. If she had just waited, just waited, nobody would have gave a fuck about her. What a waste. Stay wise.